一个平平常常的日子。细蒙蒙的雨丝夹着一星半点的雪花，正风风凛凛的向大地飘洒着。司令一快到静止，雪大然再不会重临，往往还没等落地，就已经消失得无踪无影了。黄土高原严寒而漫长的冬天，看来就要过去。但那整整温暖的春天，还远远都没有到来。Great. Four method farming sounds great. Hmm. Will food production increase too? Yes. In the Hungyan region, the food production is going to break previous records. About 0.65 billion kilos. Of course, projections will only be achieved if we avoid drought this summer. The growth rate will be about 35 percent on last year. Well. To some extent, the outcome depends on the weather. And to overcome this issue, we plan to change the agriculture economic structure, changing single food production into a large-scale agricultural economy, and also will encourage farmers to diversify their crops. For example, peanuts, fruit, trees, polonia, as well as some other crops. Uh, meanwhile, we'll encourage efforts to develop rural enterprises. Brickyards, small coal mines, shipping services. The two years of work put in here has been satisfactory. <laughs> as far as they're concerned, the food scarcity issues that we've been facing have all been solved, actually. <laughs> From this side, though, the poorest area of this region is ahead of other parts of the province. Boldness emancipates the mind. Press on with the reforms. This is the fundamental way out. Our country is short on water, especially in the north. Irrigation hasn't solved the problem. So, agriculture is divided into two subsets: rain-fed and irrigated. Rain-fed agriculture does not rely on nature; it depends on improving the soil and maintaining natural rain levels. I think the four-method farming will greatly benefit dry land farming. Uh, perhaps you guys will be able to organize a symposium, maybe on it in Huangyuan.、Uh, I think it'll be beneficial for the northern provinces to participate. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> hello, sir. Oh, hello, sir. Here's a farmer living around. Oh,、uh, hello. How many people do you have in your family? Six. How many acres do you have? Six acres. Six acres. How, how's your quality of life? Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Well, what are your farmers in need of most? We need fertilizers, bicycles, and sewing machines. The more, the, the more, the better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, what's the most difficult obstacle for you? Family planning is the most difficult. The deputy prime minister's <laughs> two-day visit、so、has come to an end.、Uh, He impressed、good. the local Excellent. people Excellent. with his kindness,、oh, and will take what he learned back to the capital. The central leadership thinks that what you've accomplished in Huangyuan deserves high praise. Huh, there's still much to be done. The leadership instructions for Huangyuan should be carried out quickly. Okay, I'll start when I come back. Have a seat. For the last two years, I've mainly focused on agricultural manufacturing within the Central Plains regions. Your household production responsibility system has been going for over a year now, right? 
But in villages in the plain regions, everything is still a mess. Ah, uh, the majority of people want reforms, but the leaders are unwilling to make changes. They refuse to move forward. Even among the leaders in the provincial party committee, there are disagreements. Comrade Wubin, for example, he thinks that there's no need to implement the new system in the plains, because by and large, things there have been going very well. Mr. Chow, I think the old way of doing things needs to be changed. That's why I keep you here. I have something important to talk with you. I want to talk to you about your job transfer. Transfer? Mm. Mr. Chow, has someone spoken ill of me? I've talked about the reform in Central Region with you, and we hope you can change the situation there. The organization department have made a decision to appoint you as Vice Secretary of Shanxi and Party Secretary of Baokong. The department has sent officials to Huangyan, and they're very satisfied with their inspection. I thought there was someone who had spoken ill of me. So the organization was looking into me. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Chow. Mm. But my work in Hang Yan has just started. I can't leave now. Well, it's the will of the department. You can't refuse the decision. Mm, well, so. Can I finish implementing this project in Hang Yan before I leave? Of course you can. So, how about the leadership of Hang Yan? Uh, the preliminary plan is. Comrade Gao Feng Ge transfer to another area. Feng Shiquan will serve as his replacement, and Zhang Wen will become secretary. Feng Ge should stay there. Why? As far as I know, he was one of the main people who opposed you. He is against me. But that doesn't mean he's wrong. Comrade Gao is very capable at his job. And he's firmly committed to reform. Okay. We'll be sure to consider your advice. <laughs> hey, mister, how much for the bun? And that's our father? Oh. His first son is one of the most famous peasant entrepreneurs in Sugarjie Village. He enjoys a good reputation around Shuangshui Village and the Donglao River area. The man's brickyard business has been very prosperous. Their yearly net income is more than 40,000 yuan. I heard yen. that. Sun Shaan has driven all of his competitors out of Asia now. <laughs> <laughs> Shaan's celebrity sure has rubbed off on you at this fair. Just look at this. Even the butchers gave you the best cuts of meat. <laughs> I've lived here for many years, because I've never experienced anything quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Lower Thanks. your voice. Let's it's go. okay. <laughs> here, allow me. Hey, Fugao! Huh? Hey, Yuho. Hey, hello. Yuho, you come to buy meat again? <laughs> yeah, it's pork. Hey, <laughs> Yuho came here with a purpose. Not because he wants to show off or seem greedy or anything like that. It's right. only because his new house is going to be finished soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yuho, your family is really rich. Thanks, yeah, that's man. right. Bye-bye. <laughs> I gotta get on. Take care. See you All later. Right. What have you been telling them? I'm completely embarrassed. Come on, don't worry. I didn't say too much to them. You're such a gossiper. <laughs> Yo ho. When we're all set, I'll go buy the stone for Shaolan. Oh. He said that he wants to build the best home for you in the village. <laughs> go on. But he's been very, very busy juggling the new house, taking care of Shulian as well as his daughter. Right. I'm going to head over there to help him. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man. In my opinion, I'm already an old man. Not many responsibilities in an old house is fine. There's no need to build me a new one. Oh, come on. You have to understand, Shawan. You see, your family's been poor for so long, but now things are better. A new house is going to show everybody just how far the Sun family has come along recently. Am I right? Yes, I understand. My kids will all be successful. Huh? Uh, Especially Shawan. You see, he has won a good reputation throughout our county. <laughs> <laughs> well, what worries me most is my daughter, Lan Hua. She has to do everything by herself. Wang Yin still wanders around the town like a ghost. Still wanders? That's right. What an asshole.
Uh, who's there? Open the door. Police. Okay. I'm coming. Coming. Uh, coming. Your hometown? I'm a farmer from Sugar Jia Village, Shanxi Province. I'm here on business, I'm not on the run, and I'm not a gangster. What do you do? Uh, I'm a farmer. I, I came here to do business. Is that me? Is that me? How did I become so old? How did I become so old? <laughs> Wang Manyin sees his true self in the broken mirror's reflection. He sees what he has become. The lonely wanderer suddenly begins to miss his children, his wife, even the cracked walls of his broken down home. It's incredible how an accident can inspire a profound home. change in a person. I want to go home, my home! Yin has come back. What? Wang Man Yin has come back. Wang Man Yin is back. So tell me, how did you eat? Where did you sleep? I slept on the streets, ate what I could. Sounds not bad. I've thought it over. I don't want to be anywhere else. I want to spend every day with you, always by your side. You really want to stay? Beijing? Shanghai? You won't go there. Beijing? Shanghai? Even if I had the chance to go to America, I wouldn't. I'll never leave you again. For most of my life, I've been wandering around with nothing to show for it. La Hua. I've never given you anything. I won't go. If you try to kill me, I still wouldn't go. Why did I want to come back? Who has come back? There was this mirror in my hotel in Shanghai. I saw my true self, my failures, the miserable person I've become. Oh, long live the party. 
It must have been some type of magic mirror. It showed you Men Yin is the monster and Men Yin is the man. So who's here? The man or the monster? I am the real Wang Man Yin. It's me. Grandma. And the man has come back. I was a monster before. <clears throat> now I am the real me. The real me has come back. Man Yin, are you finally ready to change? I'm nearly 40, Xiolian. All these years of wandering around from here to there has turned my hair white. I have absolutely nothing to show for it. Now I finally realize and understand that. The most important thing I have in my life is Lang Hua and my two kids. It's Lang Hua and my two kids. <laughs> He's so vulnerable right now. We need to help him like a parent does a child. Lang Hua is my wife. She's also my mom. My children have even surpassed me. They are better than me! Every time they try to talk to me about books, I don't understand. I just listen to them talk, but understand nothing. But hearing those kids call me dad... brings me such joy and such guilt. I know what I'm capable of, and I'll never be a laborer. But at least I can bring some water to La Hua while she's working, or cook food for her. Maybe... share interesting things with you. Or try to make you laugh. Or sing a song for you. As long as we can stay together. Every day together. I can feel at peace. I can feel at peace! <laughs> Dad, as long as Menyon will stay, I will try my best to make things work. He's a no-good bastard. You and your own two kids have suffered enough over him. The children might as well not have a father. He's disappointed me time and time again. A few good words won't make any difference. Dad. Don't say a word. Whatever he says, he just wants Shawan to give him a job at the brick kiln. The kiln belongs to Shawan. If he wants to hire a mule or a horse, that's his own personal business. My hand. I know that you're completely useless. How about this? Tomorrow, you can come to my brick kill. And as long as you can check in every day, I can pay your monthly wage. I'll let you handle negotiations. You can travel everywhere you want. Outside the door, there's a brand new bicycle. I just bought it. I'm giving it to you. Sean, what did you say? But you have to promise me one thing. What is it? Get a divorce with Lan Hua. Xiaoan, don't talk nonsense. Hey, how can you say that? This man is trying to change. You can't make them divorce. People say a good woman never marries twice, right? Besides, their kids are still growing up. How can you break up the family, huh? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Your aunt makes a good point. Xiaoan, you can't tell them to do that. None of us want them to divorce. Sis. Have you forgotten about his affair with that woman? You were fighting for a divorce, but decided not to go through with it. He swore up and down he was going to change, but the same person came back. 
He has lied to you so many times. Why are you lying to yourself? Lanhua! Sean, you're my brother. Why are you doing this? No way. I don't care if he's a man or a monster. They cannot divorce. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna ask you again. Will you divorce or not? I will not. Dad, you take them out for a while. I need to speak with him in private. Yeah, no, please. Sean. Whether you agree or not, staying married to my sister isn't an option. I won't do it. Tell me why. You all know how deeply she loves me. But you have no idea how much I love her too. Who's going to believe you? I will cut off my leg, then you'll understand. Hey, hey, hey! No pain, no pain. I'll do it myself. Stop, give me that. What are you doing? Hey, Stop it, are you crazy? No uh, no give it back to me. I mean what I said. What are you going to do? I meant what I said. I mean what I said. John. I don't want to divorce. I really don't want to divorce La Hua. I would rather cut off my leg than get divorced with my wife Lang Hua. Dad, what do you think? You call it. I've seen the real Wang Manu. He really wants to atone. If he's a changed man, Lan Hua can keep her family together. We can give him another chance. And let him work at my brick kiln. I'll watch him. But not as a negotiator. Once he goes out, he'll be a wanderer again. Don't worry. I'll handle it. A fresh start. A fresh start. In recent days, rapidly changing weather patterns have brought an onslaught of destructive weather. The rain has been falling over wide swaths of territory for days. The rising water levels of the river have shattered a 400-year-old record. Entire cities are in imminent danger. Government officials scramble to prevent a full-blown crisis. The military, along with commissioners and various heads of city governments, 
are conducting an emergency meeting. Communist Party members, tough task. Just go out and see for yourself. The floods are coming to the city. Mr. Tien. Our levee system's upstream, are reaching breaking point. The city will be submerged soon. This is an emergency. There's no time to draft orders. We need to issue an emergency message to the provincial government and the Lanzhou military regions. Yes, sir. Mayor Zhang, you need to organize to broadcast to all radio stations to inform the public to leave the city as soon as possible. Tell them that in three hours' time, the river will break its banks and the entire city will be flooded. Before four o'clock this afternoon, the residents of Gongguan and Shigran need to be completely evacuated. The tens of thousands in the city proper have to be evacuated before six o'clock. And also, we need to immediately mobilize the cadres, the militias, and all able-bodied people to provide flood relief. Secretary, most of the home and workplaces don't have radios. They probably won't get the warning. Then we'll go on the street. We'll have to go door to door. It's too dangerous. Since the committee trusted me and promoted me to secretary, it means natural disaster preparation is my responsibility. I'll take the lead. I'll go to the street with a loudspeaker to involve the residents at home one by one. Hurry up! Why do you have so many things? I'm taking all this home with my girlfriend. The reporter? Do you have any idea how lucky you are? <laughs> Your parents must be very happy. The whole village will be happy to know you guys are getting married. <laughs> Hello? Go long? Go long? How long left did you the news? Why are you looking for him? He isn't here now? No. That's too bad then. I've got a breaking news. I need Galon to cover it. I was in such a rush, I forgot my umbrella. But he isn't in his dormitory, nor is he at his office. Um, what's going on? Why are you in such a hurry? There's a devastating flood in Balkan. What? There's flooding? Yeah. The city is going to be underwater soon. The provincial secretary, Mr. Tiao, is going to be on the front line to take command. My dad and other leaders will also go. Gao Long always talked about having a chance to show his bravery. He won't get the chance now. Why is that? Because I'm going. You? Yes. No way. It's way too dangerous out there for a girl. I am a girl, but I love adventure. You know what? My audacious spirit is famous at the paper. Hey, Xiao Xia. As the governor of Balkan, the people need you now more than ever. I'm coming to find you. Tian Xiao Xiao, there's a call for you from Da Yawan. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Hello, Xiao Ping? Xiao Xiao, it's been raining for several days. Make sure you're staying warm and try not to get sick, okay? If you go out, don't forget your umbrella. Oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. Is there anything else? Nothing serious. With the rain these past few days, the mine was shut down. I've had time to study in my dormitory. I wanted to call you. Hey, I checked the calendar. And there are only three days left until our reunion. Have you checked the calendar? Knowing there's only three more days makes me so happy. Shopping? I'm... I'm afraid I won't make it. What? What, what did you say? You, are you feeling sick or something? Uh, no, no, no. I'm fine. I just picked up an emergency assignment, so I'm sorry, but I have to go right now. Whoosh. What assignment is so urgent? Hey, can't you find someone else to do it? I can't do that. I went to great lengths taking over this from Gao Long. Gao Long? Xia I understand you, but what could be more important than our reunion? Seeing my father and my grandma in Shuangshui isn't important? 
Sasha, do you know how much I've been looking forward to this? Chopping. Don't be so sensitive. Uh, I'll finish the job, then we can go back to Shuangshui Village. I'll see your dad, your grandma, that's your fiance. But I have no time for this now. Let's talk about it later, okay? But what's the rush? You don't even have time to talk to me. Chopping, don't be like that. I really have to go right now, or it'll be too late. Sasha, hurry up! Okay! Fine. I understand. I mean nothing to you. What is that supposed to mean? So, Shopping, what are you saying? I... I just hope you can understand me. That's all. Huh? Sasha? So, yeah. What are you doing here? Zhong Ping told me that you're gonna go to the front line. I was worried about you. Not true. I was on the street, and I ran to go along. Sasha? Hey, you're not allowed to take this interview from me. That's not why I'm here. The reason I'm here is to tell you this assignment is too dangerous. According to newspaper rules, female journalists can't go to the front line. Everyone has gone to the train station. I'm heading over to meet them now. Since you had requested leave, you should go home and rest. And leave the interview to us. Tell me why a female reporter isn't allowed to go to the front line. You men aren't afraid of danger. Why should we be? I don't care. So Xia, Xiaoping wrote to me. He said you were going to Shuangshui Village with him. If you're gonna go, how will you get to my house? Don't worry, Lan Xiang. When I finish the interview, I'll go back to Shuangshui Village. Jinping, I know your dad is a provincial leader, so you must have a way to find out where they are then. Xia Xia. I know, this is a great opportunity for a journalist to report a breaking story. But even your news office doesn't want you to go. Right, don't go. Tell me. Fine, I'll tell you. Today the leadership is going to take a helicopter to the disaster zone. I don't think they've started off now, so you should have time to catch them. I'm sure I'll get there before you do. Hey, Sasha. That was Xiaoping who called just now, wasn't it? I know that when you finish the interview, you're going to see his family. Yes, it'll be the first time seeing Xiaoping's family as his fiance. I guess I never really stood a chance. Well, good luck to you. Galong, I take this storm as a baptism between shopping and me. Thank you. This place is far from the Han River. Its elevation is suitable for shelter. The helicopter's arrived. When will the deputy governor be arriving? He got off the train ten minutes ago. He should be here soon. Good. Sorry, excuse me. Hello. I'm a reporter of the provincial paper. Please allow me to take the helicopter to the disaster area with you. There's no more seats. No, I don't need a seat. As long as I can get on that plane, I can just stand there. Look, I'm really a reporter from the newspaper. I've been assigned to cover the disaster zone. 
How did you know we were going to the disaster area? Who gave you that information? Well, it doesn't matter how I found out. Anyway, I have to get on your helicopter and report the situation on the ground as soon as possible. Ah, you must be aware of how serious this is. We can't have you messing things up. Hey, why would I mess anything up? As a reporter, I need to deliver the latest news on the flood. That's my duty. If you delay my work, can you afford that responsibility? Oh? Huh? <laughs> responsibility? What responsibility? You're just a little girl. What's the point of letting you come along? I'm a reporter. If a reporter doesn't go, who will cover the damn story? Hey, where did you learn such foul language? I don't really care. I have to be on that helicopter. Please let me on. Make some room for her. She can come. Thank you. Although the last phone call between Xiao Xia and Xiao Ping did not go well, these two passionate and imaginative young people still cherish their upcoming reunion. For them, no matter what may be going on in their lives, they're still looking forward to that wonderful moment. Now we're in urgent need of relief supplies, food, medicine. We request government support. Our main task now is to save people's lives. We will stop at nothing to save lives and property, and we need to be able to. Ah. Comrade Bujun. Mr. Chow. Good to see you. What's the situation on the ground? Evacuations are being carried out. Oh. We are ready to start providing flood relief. In addition, we've taken various measures. Cadres have been dispatched to the streets to ensure that the evacuation has been conveyed to everyone. Great. So you must be Party Secretary Chiu Bonian. Yes, I am Chiu Bonian. Oh, hello. I'm sorry if I offended you earlier. <laughs> it's fine. What it's are you fine. doing here? I'm here to report. Hey. Do you, do you two know each other? Oh, the secretary's from my hometown. I've interviewed him before. Oh. She's a good journalist. Oh, this girl's a real piece of work. She had the guts to ask for a free ride from a high official, jump on a plane, and come here along with us. Well, good. Good. I appreciate your spirit for the news. Kid, go and get some rest. We have work to do. I also have some work to do. Mm. Residents in the most dangerous low-lying areas of Dongguan and Shigran have to be evacuated. In this sector, there are still some trapped civilians. First responders are rushing to rescue them. That's basically the situation. Good. You've done well. Fujun, I will assume command here for the next 20 minutes. Secretary? I've heard that since you took charge over the disaster command, you haven't had a wink of sleep or even a mouthful of food. Even a man of steel couldn't handle that. Now I command you to go rest for 20 minutes. Take a nap. Uh, secretary, I can't sleep at a time like this. If you don't, in the name of the Provincial Party Secretary, I will revoke your duties as commander. Now, go. Get some sleep. Hmm? How are the levees upstream holding up? Have people in the flood area been evacuated yet? Nearly all of them. These places are all low-lying. We must dispatch our cadres there to aid the civilian evacuation. Get to eat when you're busy. Does your stomach hurt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Before I left for here, I brought a pack of biscuits for you. They're calcium biscuits. 
Much better than the other ones you eat. Good for your stomach. <laughs> Listen. No one knows how many people were swept away by the flood. But one thing is for sure. Many people are trapped by the rising water and are still in serious danger. Outside of the city, many residents have sought shelter and are anxiously awaiting aid and reassurances from Beijing. The city has not given up hope. Hope for survival. Not only are they awaiting for aid relief, the battle with the flood continues to rage on. They persevere because they know people from province, Be Beijing, and across the country are praying for them. Behind them, there are billions of people on their side. They continue to hold on to hope for their survival. Not only the hope, also, the determination to fight the flood. In the face of catastrophe, we can see the spirit of our nation and the security of the socialist countries. In the tense battle to rescue civilians, more than 30 PLA soldiers, when conducting rescue operations, tragically lost their own lives. I have something I need to tell you. After this assignment, I want to go to Shuangshui. Oh. When you go back, say hello to your uncle for me. This time I will go back not as your daughter, or as my uncle's niece, but as Sun Xiaoping's girlfriend. And not only that, as his fiance, we will go and visit his family. Dad? Oh, shit. 